The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. Ex example, plain mirror two. We'll once again begin by reading our problem here. If, you're, uh, if you are standing in front of a mirror that is attached to a vertical wall, what is the minimum height of the mirror that is needed for you to see your body's entire height? Okay, this problem is uh, slightly similar to the one we had previously looked at. Let's take a look at our four options here. Half your height, a third of your height, equal to your height, or twice your height. Again, I encourage you to pause the video and attempt doing it independently. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to follow along as I'll unveil the answer. Now, to attempt to, uh, we'll first go ahead, excuse me, we'll first go ahead and explain what's going on here. And to do so, we'll use figure 11. If we take a look here at figure 11, again, Firstly, to see your whole body raised from the top of your head and the bottom of your feet must reflect and enter your eye. Moreover, note that the height of the mirror is equal to length DC plus half of length CF. Next, we can solve this problem by breaking the height into two segments. That'll be H subscript 1 from the floor to eye level and H subscript 2, which is from eye level to the top of your head. From the law of reflection, we can conclude that the bottom portion of the mirror, right, that being length DC, is equal to one half of H subscript one, which is the height from the floor uh, to eye level. Additionally, the height of the top portion of the mirror, that being half the length of CF, is equal to one half of H subscript two, the height from eye level to top of your head. Now, knowing that bit of info, coming over here to our equation, the total height of the mirror is as follows. Now, recall the total height is equal to h subscript 1, which is the height from floor to eye level, and plus h subscript 2, which is the height from eye level to the top of your head. Now, if we go ahead and we plug in height into our equation, we find that the minimum height of the mirror that is required for you to see your entire body is simply one half your body's entire height. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Let's now shift our attention towards spherical mirrors. And we'll begin here with an, uh, with an introduction on ray.